Well, the World Health Organization announced yesterday that they will increase the global risk assessment posed by the uh, neural contravirus from moderate to high risk. WHO spokesman Christian Leidmeyer gave the details. The global risk assessment is high, the regional level is high, and for China it's very high. The latest we've received is 4,428 uh, confirmed um, and uh, 106 deaths. Outside of China, we have now 45 confirmed cases in 13 countries. Establish the criteria for whether or not it's considered a fake or not a uh, public health. What we've learned so far, what the scientists or the medical staff also on the ground learned, um, that the incubation period you're referring to is anything, can be anything between 1 and 14 days. That's what the experience so far shows. And yes, that means uh, people can transmit the virus within this time. Thank you, Christian. Um, it stays on surface, yes, but if you touch a door handle, for example, or I give you, I don't know, uh, uh, you would, I would cough into my hand and then pass you my phone, immediately it could transfer. But if this stays for, and I don't have a time range, but fairly short, um, then, there's, then there's no risk anymore. So if you pass by half an hour later, there should be not a problem anymore. <laughs> Definitely is an emergency. It's an emergency in China. But I would beg to differ on the definition of what you just put out as in wildly spreading. So far, it's going back with travelers to, uh, to foreign countries, whether it's the home country of somebody or, or a traveler as such. It's not wildly spreading outside of China. Um, but again, we have to be prepared for in case it would. So just walk us through. Self-protection is still the best possible way we can go about this. Um, this virus behaves flu-like, and as it behaves flu-like, you can also protect yourself uh, as it were with, against somebody having a flu. At last check, China has confirmed more than 6,000 cases in their country with a death toll of 131. More than 70 cases have been reported outside China, five of them in the United States and now two in, China, in uh, Canada. Confirming case, and confirmed cases in the U.S. have been in Arizona, California, Illinois, and Washington State.